<laughs> you haven't got too long to think about it, I'm afraid. Why? So when George was around three, we we noticed like a, a really small lump on the bottom of his foot. Then um, we kind of went to the GP when it weren't going away. Um, then got referred to the hospital and then we were told one thing, told another thing. Basically a week later we got a phone call that, you know, it was just horrible. It was the worst phone call I've ever had. It was my other half telling me, look, the Stanmore's been on the phone and we've got to go there tomorrow um, and prepare yourself for bad news. Well, he was diagnosed with cancer in the hospital and was there for a year and it was quite I don't know how to put it, it was just unexpected and quite emotional then. Then, yeah, we, we had to then go back to meet with the surgeon and make the difficult, have the difficult conversation of amputating George's leg below his knee. I thought it was going to be one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, you know, sit there and explain to your son, look, We've, we've, you've got to have another operation after you've just had that one and you're just starting walking again. And um, they're gonna you know, amputate your, your leg below your knee. And it's, it's just life changing and you, you don't ever want to have to explain that to anybody, let alone your son. You know? In true George fashion, his, his exact answer was, oh, so I've got to have another operation. And we went, yeah, yeah. And then the surgeon was explaining, he said, so what we're gonna do, George, we're going to amputate your leg just below your knee. And he looked at him and he went, oh, OK, right. He went, so then what will happen? Will my leg grow back? And he went, no, your leg's not going to grow back. You know, we had those difficult conversations. And then he literally just looked straight at this nurse that had a prosthetic leg and he went, yeah, but that's like a robot leg. Oh, that's all right. And then just got up and carried on as if nothing had happened. Anybody that kind of goes through something that we've gone through, it, it, it gives them a different outlook on life and you can definitely see that within both of them. Like, they're both, you know, very honest and, and kind and appreciative of things, you know? And that's why, like, today, to, to be able to do something like this is amazing. You know, absolutely amazing. And when we saw the opportunity with the... I got it on an email and I was like, look, guys, look, you know, make a wish for West Ham. You can wish for anything. And I was selling it to them and they were like, yeah, yeah. And sat there writing their forms out and we took them to the post boxes. But um, yeah, they're, they're both amazing young boys. And you know, Charlie is, well, you know, he's just stepped up to the mark massively as, as an older brother, as a friend for me, you know and me for him, you know, we, we've like, we're like little best mates. And that's why it's so nice to come and watch football together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what he was going to say then. I was hoping, I hope you don't say nothing horrible. <laughs> so was I, I was thinking, oh God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was thinking, oh God, what's going to come here? But now I thought I'd come and surprise you. Okay. Were you a goalkeeper? Like the goalkeeper kids? Yeah. What position do you, would you like to play? Yeah, goal scoring, I get all the headlines, I like it. Yeah. Right mid. Right mid, nice. Good position as well. I get the headlines. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we've got a gift for you. Watch you. Uh, and they are um, tickets for the game on, on the weekend against Man United. Oh. So, uh, <gasps> got them for you. So hopefully it's a good game. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully we can uh, score in a win, that would be nice. So yeah. I had a nice early game. Yeah. Half, yeah. I think half twelve kickoff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah early kickoff. So no lions on the weekends. You got to be up, yeah. up and out and ready to go. Yeah. So yeah. I'll. Um, yeah. yeah. Tickets in there. So Thank hopefully you. it'll be a good, good game against Man United. Yeah. So no worries. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you all. Yeah. <laughs> you've been and gobsmacked, haven't you? And I've never seen you gobsmacked. And <laughs> now you're literally speechless. Never seen it. Ever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. He was saying the other day when if we could go to one match it would be the Man U game, wouldn't it? He was saying that. Yeah.
Good luck. Good luck. You, Kelly, one word, describe it. Awesome. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> yeah. What, what was it like meeting Jared today? Fabulous. Was it? Yeah.